In this video, we're going to talk about how to divide two numbers. So let's say if we want to divide 228 by 4. So how can we use long division to find the answer? Well, let's go ahead and begin. So first, how many times does 4 go into 22? 4 goes into 22 five times because 4 times 5 is 20. 22 minus 20, that's 2. Next, we need to bring down the 8. So how many times does 4 go into 28? 4 goes into 28 7 times. 4 times 7 is 28, and so the remainder is 0. And so that's the answer. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and try this one. Divide 182 by 7. Feel free to pause the video. So 7 doesn't go into 1. But how many times does 7 go into 18? 7 goes into 18 2 times. 7 times 2 is 14. Next, let's subtract 18 by 14. 18 minus 14 is 4 and then we're going to bring down the 2. So how many times does 7 go into 42? So hopefully you know your multiplication tables. 7 times 6 is 42, which leaves a remainder of 0. So 182 divided by 7 is 26. So let's try an example with a large number. Let's divide 1720 by 8. So go ahead and take a minute and try uh, this particular example. So first, let's rewrite it. 8 doesn't go into 1 because 8 is larger than 1, but 8 can go into 17. 8 times 2 is 16, and that will leave a remainder of 1. Now let's bring down the next digit. So now how many times does 8 go into 12? 8 goes into 12 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16, which is more than 12, so that's too much. And now let's subtract. 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. And now the last thing that we need to do is bring down the 0. So how many times does 8 go into 40? 8 times 5 is 40. So 1720 divided by 8 is 215. Now let's say if we want to divide a large number by a two-digit number. What can we do in this example? So go ahead and try this example. So 12 goes into 16 one time. 12 times 1 is 12 and 16 minus 12 is 4. Now let's bring down the 2. How many times does 12 go into 42? If you're not sure, make a list. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 plus 12 is 36. 36 plus 12 is 48. 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 46. 12 times 4 is 48. 48 exceeds 42. So we have to stop at 36. So 12 goes into 42 three times. 12 times 3 is 36, and 42 minus 36 is 6. Next, let's bring down the 0. If we add another 12 to 48, this will give us 60, which means that 12 times 5 is 60. So the final answer is 135. That's 1620 divided by 12. Try this one. What is 1125 divided by 25? Go ahead and find the answer. So let's put 1125 on the inside. So 25 does not go into 11. So we can't really do anything there. So we need to use 
the first three digits, 112. How many times does 25 go into 112? Well, let's make a list. 25 plus 25 is 50. If we add another 25, it's 75. And then 100. And then 125. So 25 times 2 is 50. 25 times 3 is 75. Times 4, it's 100. And 25 times 5 is 125. So 125 exceeds 112. But 100 is less than 112. So therefore, 25 goes into 112 four times. And 25 times 4 is 100. And now we need to subtract. 112 minus 100 is 12. And now let's bring down the 5. And we know that 25 goes into 125 exactly 5 times. So the remainder is 0. So 1125 divided by 25 is 45. That's the answer. Here's another example for you. 2946 divided by 32. Let's begin. So 32 doesn't go into 24. So there's nothing that we can do here. So let's use the first three digits. How many times does 32 go into 249? Well, let's make a list. 32 plus 32 is 64. And 64 plus 32, that's 96. And if we want to add 96 plus 32, that's going to be 8 and 12, which is basically 128. When you're dealing with large numbers, it helps if you make a list first. Once you get up to 10, you just need to use it once and you don't need to do it again. Now 128 plus 32, if we add that, 8 and 2 is 10, carry over the 1, 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6, bring down the 1, that's 160. And if we add 32 to 160, that's going to be 192. And then 192 plus 32 that's 4, 3 and 9 is 12, carry over the 1, that's going to be 224. Now 224 plus 32, we just got to add 24 and 32. 4 and 2 is 6, 2 and 3 is 5, so this is going to be 256. And if you want to add it one more time, 6 plus 2 is 8, 5 and 3 is 8, the next one is going to be 288. So let's count it. 32 times 3 is 96, 32 times 5 is 160, 32 times 7 is 224, 32 times 9 is 288. So you get the picture. Now using this, how many times does 32 go into 249? Well, 256 is greater than 249, so we can't use that. But 224 is the highest number that's less than 249. So we could say that 32 goes into 249 seven times. 32 times 7 is 224. And then 249 minus 224, that is going to be, well 9 minus 4 is 5, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0, so it's 25. Now let's bring down the 6. We can see that 32 goes into um, 256 eight times with a remainder of 0. So therefore, 2496 divided by 32 is equal to 78. That's the answer. All right, let's try another example, but with a much larger number. So what is 94,245 divided by 75? So let's try this problem. Feel free to work it out yourself. So let's make a list. 75 plus 75 is 150. And then it's going to be 225 if you add 75 to 150. And 225 plus 75, that's 300. And then it's going to be 375, 450, 525, 600, 675, 750, and then it's 825, 900, and 975. I don't think we need to go past 975. So this is 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six. 75 times seven is 525. That's times eight. Actually, I really don't think you need to go past nine. So how many times does 75 go into 94? 75 goes into 94 one time. So now let's subtract. So what is 94 minus 75? Now let's do that separately. Well, we can't subtract 4 by 5 because it's going to give us a negative number. So what we need to do is we need to borrow a 1 from 9, which is going to be 8. And 4 is going to turn into 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. 8 minus 7 is 1. So this is going to give us 19. Now let's bring down the 2. So how many times does 75 go into 192? Well, 3 is too much because 225 exceeds 192. So it's going to go into it at least two times. 75 times 2 is 150. And 192 minus 150, well, 2 minus 0 is 2. 9 minus 5 is 4, so it's 42. Now let's bring down to 4. So how many times does 75 go into 424? 450 is too much. 375 is less than it. So it's going to go into it at least five times. 75 times 5 is 374. And now let's subtract. We need to borrow a 1. So this is going to be 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. And then 1 minus 7, that's not going to work. So we got to borrow a 1. So it's 11 minus 7, that's 4. So it's going to be 49. Now let's bring down to 5. How many times does 75 go into 495? It goes into it at least six times. And so it's going to be 495 minus 450, which is 45. Now, 75 does not go into 45. So we got to bring down a zero. 75 goes into 450 six times. So the answer is going to be 1256.6. That's the solution. Let's try a more difficult example. Let's divide 216,741 by 84. So I'm going to need a lot of space for this one. So 84 doesn't go into 21. How many times does 84 go into 216? Well, before we figure that out, let's make a list. 84 plus 84 is 168. And 168 plus 84, 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry over the 1. 8 and 6 is 14 plus 1, that's uh, 15. So this is going to be 252. And now let's add 84 again. 2 and 4 is 6. 5 plus 8 is 13. Carry over the 1. That's 336. And now let's add another 84 to it. 6 and 4 is 10. 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 8. That's 12. So this is going to be 420. Now 420 plus 84. 420 plus 80 is 500 plus 4. That's going to be 504. 504 plus 84. That's 588. So now let's add 588 by 84. So 8 plus 4 is 12. 8 plus 8 plus 1, that's 17. So this is going to be 672. Now let's add another 84 to it. 2 plus 4 is 6. 7 plus 8 is 15. And 6 and 1 is 7. So this will give us 756. And if we add another 84, 6 and 4 is 10. 5 and 6, I mean 5 and 1 is 6, plus 8, that's 14. So this is 840. And we could stop here because 84 times 10 is 840. So once you make a list, you could finish the problem regardless of how big this number is. But let's write down our numbers. 84 times 3 is 252. 84 times 6 is 504. 
and 84 times 9 is 756. So how many times does 84 go into 216? 84 goes into 216 two times. 252 exceeds 216, but 168 is the highest number that's less than it. So now we need to subtract 216 by 168. So we need to borrow a 1. So 16 minus 8 is 8. And we need to borrow another 1. 10 minus 6 is 4. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is going to be 48. Now let's bring down the 7. So how many times does 84 go into 487? So 504 exceeds 487, but 420 is less than it. So it goes into it at least five times. 84 times 5 is 420. And now let's subtract. 7 minus 0 is 7. 8 minus 2 is 6. 4 minus 4 cancels out. So the difference between the two numbers is uh, 67. Now let's bring down the 4. So how many times does 84 go into 674? Well, 756 is too much, but 672 is just under 674. So it goes into it 8 times. 84 times 8 is 672, and the difference between the two numbers is 2. So now, we need to bring down a 1. How many times does 84 go into 21? 84 goes into 21 zero times. So therefore, we need to add another zero in a decimal point. Once you add a decimal point, you need to add it here as well. So how many times does 84 go into 210? 84 goes into 210 two times. And 2 times 84 is 168. So we need to borrow a 1, make this 10. So eight minus, 10 minus 8 is 2, so this is now a 0. We need to borrow 1, make it 10. 10 minus 6 is 4, so 210 minus 168 is 42. Now, the next thing we need to do before we divide is bring down another 0 after you subtract. After subtraction, you always bring down the next number. So how many times does 84 go into 420? It goes into it exactly five times. So the remainder is zero. So this is the final answer. It's 2,580.25. If you take your calculator and divide 216,741 by 84, you're going to get this answer. 2,580.25. So now you know how to use long division to divide two numbers.